It's Lady Lily, and I'm back with another video. This is day six of the financial fast. Today's topic is you can't buy contentment. We are one day away from officially making one week. You can't buy contentment. Contentment is the topic. Main points, be content with what you have. The pledge for today is, I promise I will not complain about anything I don't have. There is a Chinese proverb that states, to be content is to be happy. Makes sense. Um, you do not have to always spend and spend to enjoy what life has to offer. Contentment is not, isn't for sale. And I'm sorry, the kids outside playing, they just loud. I mean, I'm in my in this room and the windows are down. So that's how loud they are. So I'm, I apologize because normally I, I film later, but due to the fact I got an event later on, I got to shoot a little earlier. So I apologize for the kids. Uh, so back to what I was saying, contentment isn't for sale. We don't wait for our needs to be met. We spend or we go into debt for our wants. So we don't wait around to see if something would come to us or we'd be blessed with it. We go ahead and we get ourselves in debt to go get it. Um, the scripture, there was a scripture in this chapter, Philippians 4 and 12. And it says, I know what it is to be in need. And I know what it is to have plenty. I know what it is... To I have, okay, let's try that again. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether we, whether, whether well fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. If all it take, took was money to be happy, then rich people wouldn't have issues. And we know that's not true because they are always in the news up to something or the tabloids and stuff. So the thing is, money really, truly cannot buy happiness. And we saw that this week uh, as we lost Kate Spade. And now we lost, um, who was that, Anthony um, Bird, Burdan. Um, seeing, uh, from, um, he was a chef and... He did a lot of um, a well-known chef and author and co-responder on dining across the country and the world. Um, and he committed suicide today. So it goes to show you just in this week alone, we had two suicides. And these people are well to do. They're, you know, was flourishing in their careers. I'm sure they had money up the wazoo. But it just goes that something was missing in their life and they felt the need. They couldn't get for, They couldn't get help. And they end up taking their lives. So that's um, an example as money don't really buy happiness. Another point, when you are in need, you have to believe God will provide. Uh, I think we live in fear mode a lot. We be like, well, if I give this or if I do this, I'm not going to have a, a, a lot. And that's something I feel like um, that's you know, been made, to, um, been coming to fruition since I started this process. I too always, um, always run, you know, always operate in fear thinking I won't have enough or it, it can't be, you know, it can't happen. Um, I'm going to be transparent at this second, if you will. There was one point a few years ago that my savings account got down to $20. $20. The last time I ever seen a saving account with $20 was probably when I was in high school. So at that point, it was just, I felt like I was at an all time, like bogus situation. And I told myself from that day, I would never, ever, 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 ever get to that point where I ever would have twenty dollars just twenty dollars in my savings account so um i think i have always operated in fear just making sure i got to you know put some there and you pause to have savings so it's not saying I'm, I'm doing wrong by not adamant working to build back the savings 
But at the meantime, I don't think I, I don't like the fact that I operate out of fear. So that was that's something that's being revealed to me. I, I operate more out of fear than faith. So, yeah. So when you're in a need, you when you are in need, you have to believe that God will provide. Another another quote that I and these are all quotes that I wrote down, y'all. When you are prosperous, you have to learn not to be so overconfident that you overspend. You know, blessings come, and that's great. That's not that's not the opportunity. Oh, we're gonna go splurge and do this. Oh, we finna pop lock and drop it over here because we got this. You need to be conservative, you know. You need to be concerned. I think being conservative. Being modest, you know, it will help you, what I'm trying to say, spend less. I guess it'll help you spend less. Contentment can't be, can't be measured by. New messages received from Soror Tiffany Say. Contentment can't be measured by the amount of money or possessions we have and get Practically, we act as if it does. Okay, let me repeat that again. Contentment can't be measured by the amount of money or possessions we have and get. Practically, we act as if it does. I can no longer afford to be, and then this is something I wrote down. I can no longer be, no longer afford to be foolish in the handling of my finances. So that was a gist of the chapter so today's assignment, uh, which I think it's going to take me a little time to do because I don't think it's going to be um, something that can be done in a day. So the first part of the, the daily assignment was to make a list of least of things you have said lately that, that express lack of content. And I'll share this. Um, I said, I wish I can travel more. I wish I can just spend money and not worry about it. And I always want a cute bag. So that was my three. And then the next, the other the second half of the assignment was to um, go around your house and put together three things. A pile to keep, a pile to... New messages received from Anthony, godfather of track. A pile to trash and a pile to go away. So I started going through my stuff um, and actually... I went in the back of my closet and I found a dress that I haven't worn in a while. And um, I got an event tonight and it's the perfect dress to wear to this event I'm going to. So that just goes to show you how we have so much stuff and it's out of sight, out of mind. So I'm building up a um, pile of things I'm going to give away. I'm building up a pile of things I'm going to toss in the garbage. And that's just not clothes. It's just things. Um... Because like I said in the last video, I said, I feel like I'm like, I need to declutter. So I'm really going through things. I have tried on some within this day so far. I didn't try on a couple of shirts that I have not worn in years. And amazingly, I still can wear them. Um, there's just some things that I have outgrown, but I have held on to them. And there are some things that, you know, it's time to get rid of. They're just worn out. So I think that would be an ongoing project that I'm hoping to, you know, work on throughout these next few days, maybe weeks, <laughs> and just throw out old stuff, throw out old magazines or give them to people or whatever. I know a lot of people be needing um, magazines for vision boards and other projects. So yeah, um, tonight I am going to a party. The ticket was bought in advance, so it was not... <clears throat> it was not a decision, a quick decision that I made, you know, before I started to fast because I knew it was part of the Greek council because this is um, Greek weekend. So um, I'm going to that tonight. The plan is to not buy a drink. The plan is not to buy food. Um, I have had um, food to eat. I have things to drink here at home. So the goal is to not buy anything while I'm out tonight. Um, I went grocery I did spend money today. I went grocery shopping, so I pretty much got everything that was on my list. And um, I'll probably sit down late Sunday or maybe early Monday morning because I'm off and um, map out my meals um, for the week. 
And then I did go get essential items. So I had like to get toothbrush, tooth, uh, tooth, not toothbrush, toothpaste, starch, all this stuff. Um, so um, uh, toothpaste, starch, um, dishwashing detergent, Ziploc bags. So these are things that I need. Um, household items that I need around the house. Um, I need a light bulb because my one of my light bulbs um, went out. So I got essential stuff. So um, that got gas in my car, handled the necessaries that I needed to ha handle. But that's pretty much it. So yeah. So we'll see how tonight goes. I'm kind of, you know, skeptical. I just hope I don't get the urge to spend tonight. Um, yeah, because drinks going out can be pretty expensive, but as I, but I, as I said, I went to Benny's and I stocked up, so I don't have to, you know, hopefully don't have to indulge. So that is it. That is all. Stay tuned for more videos. We will be back tomorrow for day seven. Peace out.